Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Joe. Welcome back to SNES's Life. This is recap show number 55. This is completing our 275th game for the series. Um, this week we're looking at, obviously, Boxing Legends, International Tennis Tour, Cliffhanger, Battle Blaze, and Biometal. So without that, let's get started. First up, we got Boxing Legends of the Ring. Uh, here I am, Sugar Ray Leonard versus someone Hearns. I can't remember who the hell it was. There was literally, like, Sugar Ray Leonard was the only name I recognized. Now, this, of course, was made in 93, so boxing legends being what they were, I don't know how Mike Tyson wasn't in it at that point, but he wasn't. Um, and so this has got this kind of neat, over-the-shoulder 3D perspective, almost. And for what they did, I, I was impressed. I was like, the game looks actually quite good. It's really interesting. There's actually, like, blood flying off their faces when you punch them. Um, you have this boxing glove meter next to your face. So your face is actually like your health bar. And as you get more beat up, you can see the guy on the right there, Hearns. He's all bumpy and bruised up and swollen. Uh, my guy's doing pretty good. But you look at the boxing glove, and that's a measure of your stamina strength, basically. So what happens is if you take enough swings, that eventually just keeps going down. And then when you run out, you can't swing anymore. You just kind of have to like avoid getting hit. Uh, and you can... There's quite a bit of like body blows, jabs, uppercuts. There's like a special punch uh, that you get to use. You can see uh, over above Hearns, there's two little boxing gloves above his big one. That's a special punch, and then the round mine refreshed one. Um, and that's kind of like a knockout punch. So if you can get them to the point where like the little bar around their picture frame will flash, you can usually like super punch them and they'll go straight down. But the game did look pretty decent, I thought. I was impressed with the graphics for the age. Uh, the music. Of course, non-existent. Um, the sound otherwise was fine. The gameplay was okay. I, I mean, it played as well as I expected it to. It's a boxing game. But the problem is with the boxing game, you're you're basing this off of people wanting to play as these, for better lack of a term, avatars of real-world people who boxed. Uh, and... It's just not that interesting, you know. The reason Super Punch-Out and Punch-Out are still talked about isn't because they were real-world people. It's because they were just these crazy cartoony characters, you know, that were fun to look at and fun to see. And it was just interesting, and this is, is not interesting. So it ended up with a thumbs down. It, it wasn't a bad game by any stretch, but it's boxing, and I find that boring. And I think most other people would as well. Next up, International Tennis Tour. This is a tennis game. Um... Graphically speaking, I, I feel like I've seen better at this point. It's been a really long time since we played a tennis game. Um, and I know we gave at least one, I think, a thumbs up. Not terribly far into the series of games, you know, probably in the top 50 games. Or not, not top 50, but like first 50 that we recorded, there was a number of tennis games. Uh, so graphically, this one doesn't look great. The... I mean, it's pretty colorful. There's some pastel kind of, you know, outfits that the players wear. Uh, the 3D tennis ball <laughs> bouncing around was probably the best animation in the game, really. No music, again. The sound was very basic. Grunts, groans, the, you know, <coughs> of the ball bouncing back and forth. Um, there is a career mode and a bunch of tournament modes. I can't see wanting to play this game that damn long. Uh, it controlled fine. I will say that. Like the serves were easy, simple. It's easy to figure out. There's, I think, five or six different swings you can make. Uh, there is doubles and singles, and I did way better as doubles. I mean, the computer just stomped me as singles, and the doubles, the you know, my computer teammate, I guess, um, didn't didn't like make me dominate by any stretch. But it kind of evened the playing field. The fact that I sucked at it, <laughs> so. Again, not an awful game. I've played better. Uh, so International Tennis Tour also gets a thumbs down. Next up is Cliffhanger, which is a movie based off the 93 movie with Sylvester Stallone, Cliffhanger. Which has, you know, I mean, it's a late, well, early 90s at this point, but late 80s style action movie. Big, beefy Sylvester Stallone is like a mountain ranger. And a plane crashes only to find out that it's not actually like people on a plane. It's like bank robbers on a plane, and now their money is like scattered, and so they force Stallone to go get their money. And this is a side-scrolling beat 'em up, actually, and not an easy one. Um, there's uh, the controls are less than stellar. The music's okay. The sound is okay. 
but you, you basically have a punch, a kick, and a jump. And then depending on like if you're crouched down or if you're jumping, you know, you might do different variations on that punch and kick. And you can get weapons. There are guns, obviously. You just saw I picked up an Uzi and was shooting it, and it's wonderful. Um, but the game is very aggressive, and it will absolutely throw dudes at you who also will just like stand there and wait for you to come into range of them. And most of them seem to have a better range of reach than you do, which sucked. <laughs> it's There's some platforming in it where you have to jump over like waterfalls or watch right here, boom, bridge. There was no indication that there was gonna be a hole in that bridge, but by gods there was, you know? And I was like, son of a bitch, like, come on. Uh, and there's a bunch of like waterfalls later where you're trying to jump over like logs floating. And it's real twitchy about that like last pixel jump where if you don't hit it perfectly, your guy, instead of jumping, you'll be like, and on the edge, you'll be like, whoa. And then you fall into the water and lose a life, which was kind of crappy. Uh, it's pretty long. So you're supposed to find three money boxes, and I did find two of them eventually. But the first boss I fought probably took me like five six minutes to figure out how to beat because he's just brutal he does this like charge back and forth around thing and you can't do anything except get hit by him and i finally figured out what you have to do is let him basically finish his charge and it's he's like half off the screen and then as he's turning around you can punch him and then you have to move out the way because he charges back the other direction so you just kind of have to do that and it, it just took a while it was really irritating did not make me did not endear me to the game uh, so, and even though I'm a fan of beat em ups, this is a single player beat em up. I ended up giving this one a thumbs down. It's just not that great. It's not worth playing. There are better beat em ups on the on the system. Uh, next up, Battle Blaze. This is a one on one fighting game. It does not have a two player mode. <laughs> it is a story mode where you're you're a single character, which is like this Nordic barbarian Conan looking dude, and there's only five opponents. So the idea is these demons possess the great fighters of the area and you have to basically kill these demons that are inside these dudes. Now this is just one of the bosses. This is a very, very simple, almost, I, I wonder if it was an arcade game at some point because you only have like jump and attack, <laughs> you know? Um, and there are a couple combination attacks. Like if you hold, you know, hit back forward attack, you'll do like this slide thing like that right there. I just did the slide thing. Um, but there's very few of them for this character. Now, you can do a battle mode where you can pick any of the other characters to be. But the story mode, you can only be this dude. And the first, I got lucky. I think I probably did it in the right order. The first two guys I fought were hard but fair. Um, the next two guys were extremely difficult. Uh, they had weapons. Well, I mean, I guess this dude has a weapon too, but I mean, they had ridiculous weapons. One of them had this giant, like, staff sword that, like, swung you, and it was very... You couldn't really, like, avoid it easily. And then the other character was a girl with two daggers, and every time you jumped, if you landed near her, she, like, attached to you. It was like, stab, 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 stab. Very difficult to beat. Uh, the graphics are okay for the most part. The backgrounds are kind of lacking. The sprites themselves look fine. The final boss was very difficult, which is not a shock. It's a final boss. And it's a game with, with uh, if you're playing just for the story, like I said, there's only five levels. So I'm not real shocked that it was a difficult boss. But I think they could have just expanded. They could have added more. It seemed very, very kind of minimalist, almost thrown together. Um, music was fine. The sound was okay. This is the intro sequence where your dude looks, I don't know. He looks like Cro-Magnum, man. Um, and the game was mediocre as a fighting game, really. Like it had nothing to attract you to it. Like I, God, what was I can't, remember. we played one that was the one where it had like Rasputin and he had these like big cartoony hands and you could set the stage to have like landmines on it. It was, you know, it wasn't. It was a. It was a subpar fighting game as well. But it added weird that made the game interesting to play. This game did not do that for me, um, unfortunately. So this also got a thumbs down. That's four thumbs down. Going into our final game, Bio Metal. Bio Metal is a shoot 'em up, and it's it's a shoot 'em up. Uh, the graphics actually are quite good. Your ship looks like a 
kind of a ripped off Vic Viper. Um, the bosses are usual shooting. Look at, I mean, look at the size of the boss compared to me. Now he is a very, it was a very difficult game. First off, I'm not good at shooting up, so let me put that straight out there. Um, but the graphics were good. The music was good. The sound was fine. The biggest argument with this game is just it's all in the gameplay. So it is a shoot 'em up. There's bullets everywhere and bad guys everywhere. And you expect that going into it. Uh, it is really, really stingy with items. So at, basically at the beginning of a level and at the end of a level, it will drop like two items. And that's it for the entire level. Like, I don't know. And, and the items like change their letters to indicate what they are. So you have to like try and like wait for it to change to the one you want. Quick grab it. And I don't know. Like that's, that's really my big argument. It had this kind of neat charge up beam. You can see at the bottom of the map there. And you started with that. And those are the four balls around you. You could turn those on or off. And they are a shield of sorts. But you can also throw them like I'm doing. Uh, in whatever direction you're hitting your d-pad at the time and that's kind of one of the ways you kill this boss you throw your shield into the orange glot glowing dot in the middle um which was a cool mechanic it felt very much like i think our type you get like the little orange satellite ball that you can throw out which is cool i i enjoyed it the the game was fine it was just hard as hell uh and and that's i'm not good at shoot 'em up so i mean it's, it is what it is i thought this game was good i gave uh biomedal a thumbs up if you like a shoot 'em up you're gonna like this game i think it's worth playing i think it's neat most shoot 'em ups aren't bad this one didn't really have uh it did have a little bit of slowdown in one of the areas where there was a lot of on screen but for the most part it managed to track pretty well uh it did, did, did not crawl like gradius did gradius really really chugged when you got a lot of stuff on screen unfortunately but biometal did really really quite good so i i gave this one a recommend and a thumbs up so that's it that's fifth that's our 55th recap 275th game we're we got 25 more till we hit 300 and i'm gonna take a break after that for a hot minute but yeah so very exciting unfortunately four thumbs down one thumbs up in in this recap episode i mean unshockingly there's a lot more uh chaff than wheat <laughs> on here to separate it's just the nature of the 90s video games not everything's going to be good unfortunately it just is what it is so that's it thank you all for keeping up with us and watching the recap shows i hope you guys get something out of all this and yeah thank you i will be back with our 56 at some point here in, in probably a week and a half or so something like that so thank you very much have a good one peace out y'all